what you're talking about. I'm just waiting and I'm going to let you have it. So then, <laughs> that's to disagree with listening. Neither ones are effective. If you want to build deeply connected, authentic relationships with people, you have to learn the art of be with listening. And that is just where you are there. You are there for them. They, you are listening with a servant's heart. You are 100% present. That also means if you're doing your business on social media, you know, you are not like vacuuming and washing dishes and whatever else I have a tendency to do sometimes. You want to be very present and create an environment so you can truly be with, listen. Because then what you're gonna hear are truly authentic, heartfelt details that are gonna allow you to gather information to deliver a very heartfelt message, right? You want to be with Listen so that you can give them authentic, real feedback. Fair? Mm -hmm. So creating connections, stories of challenges and struggles. And when I think of challenges and struggles, I think about labor and delivery. How many moms out there? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Could you not turn to the person next to you and share that story of your labor and delivery and have that woman right next to you going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. How many dads out there? Can you not turn to the gentleman beside you and say, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's what she went through, yeah, I know, uh-huh. See? Everybody has struggles and challenges that they've gone to that you can relate to, right? And that's how you make really deep-seated connections. And then also hobbies and passions. I have two. I have a hobby and I do have a passion. My hobby is, anybody know by chance? Outside of Beachbody? Four wheeling and Something Tahiti. that I love, that my attic is stuffed with. <laughs> Crochet. <laughs> Close. Shoes. Wizard of Oz. I am a huge Wizard of Oz fan. Sorry, honey. He, every, I mean, if you want to give me a gift, that's what it, where, where it would come from. Okay. Huge Wizard of Oz fan. And I have been able to make great relationships with people because of my passion for Wizard of Oz through social media and through real life as well. And then um, I also have a bulldog. You've probably seen this picture once or twice. And that is another thing that I have that is just huge hobby and passion for me is my bulldog. And I do have a boxer and I feel very sorry, but I just don't have the connection with my boxer. And I do have my bulldog. He's, he's my man. So um, if you, you're gonna dive into Beachbody, you're gonna, um, you're gonna have blinders on, especially after this amazing summit, and you're going to want to just be here with Beachbody. But I wanna remind you to keep your passions and your hobbies outside of Beachbody very present so that people can connect to you and relate to you on different levels, and then you can always bring Beachbody into the mix. But let it be known that you're a person of many levels, with many skills and many passions and hobbies, and you'll find great so connections through that. And then, of course, <laughs> Um, have other people's best interest at heart. This is a big one, and I think it's one that needs to be practiced. Been a beach body coach for five years now, and I still have to slow myself down when I'm talking to somebody about Shakeology or Challenge Pack or the new T25. I have to slow down because my mind is telling me get those successful points, get those successful points, get those successful points, and I have to tell myself stop, stop self, worry about that person. What is best for them? Is it the fact that Shakeology right now is just maybe giving them a sample that they're not ready to buy a whole bag? Or I can just send them information on Shakeology because maybe they're the kind of person that needs to research it a little bit more. It's not about the sale right now, it's about what's best for them. And then of course using form, which we just talked about. So again, this, this comes from Danny Johnson. And uh, she is really good about helping us understand well, what to listen for because, oh, again, it is a skill that can be developed. We're here to <laughs> learn to listen for specific things, to watch specific behaviors, and strengths, interests, goals, needs. The first one being strengths. You know, pay That's attention nice. to people. I'm not talking about judging them or sizing them up. I'm just saying, notice, oh, like, sad. they're like, get Hello. into a space where you start to notice people's Hello. amazing qualities. Like, this person has a great sense of humor. That's something that I would like immediately be drawn to. Or they're very enthusiastic. Or, wow, they're really passionate or compassionate. 
yeah. or you know whatever it is. When you start to see strengths, you're going to start to be able to formulate that message like, wow, you are really caring, you know. And and have you ever thought about getting into a business where we get to care about people? Mm -hmm. that good. See, that's what I was questioned. <laughs> She's like, I'm not doing that. So I'm The next one is interest, like we just talked about, but you're going to really...